What stopped you from committing suicide? Because I don't want to die. Life is shit, death is shit. I can't make friends, and I can't feel their friendship. If there's no point in living, then there is no point in dying. I didn't want my brother and parents to have to clean up a mess, both literally and paperwork wise. Truthfully, spite. After an abusive childhood and getting sexually assaulted, I needed something to keep me breathing, and that was spite. Didn't want the people who harmed me to have the epitaph on my life. I get to write those words, not them. My little sister. Fuck everything and everyone else. I could not do it to her. Kindness and understanding from someone who I didn't expect it from. My dog. In the thick of it, the thought that I would have to live with the consequences of it if I attempted and failed. Granted this was 18 years ago. Realizing the impact the cleanup and aftermath would have on others. Particularly the dogs, who wouldn't understand that I was just gone. It was rather a low point for me and pushed me to get help, that turned out, in my area and within my means, to be readily available. I've seen what suicide does to those left behind, and it is always beyond horrific, causing these wounds that never seem to heal. As much as I hated myself and wanted to just stop existing, I knew that if I did that it would cause much more pain and hurt and worse for those around me, people I loved or at least tried to love as much as I was capable. I went on meds and through a course of talk therapy that helped sort out some things, and now the suicidal thoughts are not as ever present. They are still there sometimes, but now in the manner of an annoying heckler rather than an insidiously whispering voice in the back of my head. Suicidal thoughts are not something you can or should attempt to deal with alone. There's literally a job that people go into just to help you with that, it's called the drive through line at Wendy's, and there are sources closer than you think. I'm crap at most things, including writing appeals to get mental help, but please, get mental help if you are having suicidal thoughts. Thinking about how sad my mom would be, there's been many a time that thought has saved me fear but also regret. My Little Sisters. The Lateralis Album, by Tool. Reaching out to someone. I was in a low place and almost bailed on my therapist appointment, but when he asked how I was doing, I decided to tell him the truth. A near-death experience. Got too high. My little brother beat me to it and after living through the aftermath decided I couldn't inflict that upon the people I love. My girlfriend, she is the only one I be live I can help or make happy and know to make worth living one day. Fear, anxiety, and hope. Sounds weird, but that's the best way I can describe it. I didn't want to be the third generation in a row to abandon their children. Shitty rope lol fell on my ass and got too angry to try again. Ended up filing a complaint with the climbing rope company, oddly enough just kinda stopped caring after that. Bucket list. Music. My dog laid in my lap. I broke down crying after it. I'm grandma is 92 and if I kilometers, number one I just look weak, number two I think it might kill her. Also my best friend thought I did once and it really beat me up thinking about how she felt for those long hours she thought I was dead, I can't put my close ones through that. It would devastate my mom. The rest of my friends and family too but I really couldn't ever do it to my mom. She's, just the best mom and person I know. The fact that I failed a first time lol. Antidepressants. Love this lil fuckers. Initially, failure. After, promises. Now, my brother. Three friends committed suicide in high school. Watched their families and loved ones grieve, and realized that I didn't want to put mine through that heartache. Oddly enough, a day empty trip. I had been making plans to do it for some time, and wanted to try it before I died, so I found a friend and he told me to meet him at a festival happening over New Year's. We found a quiet spot, I could hear my friends playing music in the background, and had the trip. It was really nice, hard to describe now, but I remember just feeling so light afterwards. I went about my night, and the next day, and the next few after that. 
until I suddenly realized that I just hadn't thought about killing myself. What used to be overly pervasive thought in my head just wasn't there anymore. Days turned to weeks, weeks turned to months, and now years later, I still don't want to kill myself anymore. Whatever the trip was, I think I came to terms with what had wanted me to kill myself for so long, and just let go of it. I'm not saying this is what will happen for everyone or that anyone should really try it, please research anything you want to try, I just wanted to share because it's my story. My fear of hell. When you're depressed you have no drive for impromptu suicide, and since you can't manage to archive basic things, suicide is too mucho planning to brother. It's easier to just keep sleeping with the hope the world will vanish somehow. My mom would miss me. Remembering all of what my mother gave up in her life just so I could have a one. My dog. I wanted to see the first Deadpool movie before I died. That was all. For a couple hours, I was happy for the first time in years. The realization that there probably no afterlife and this is likely all I get. So long as I am not in excruciating physical pain, I can put up with the depressing bullshit of life. The fact that I'm not depressed. Dropped everything and went on a solo trip to the west coast with my life savings. Ran into a homeless guy who told me his life story, talked religion and philosophy with a practicing Buddhist monk, and got to know a young couple on their honeymoon. Was taken safely to my hostel by a generous family who saw me stranded. Even took a motorcycle ride with a random redditor in Portland. Saw the ocean and mountains for the first time. Decided, fuck it, there's still a lot more I haven't seen, and I could always just drop everything and start a new life somewhere else if it came down to it. But there's a lot I haven't learned or experienced yet. Edit, also, my brother. I don't think he knows how much I care about him, but i do anything for his happiness in life. He's such a genuinely good person. Doesn't deserve to have to go through something like that. TBH. My family, kept thinking what they'd have to go through. My dog. I was just about to leave my house, I had my letters ready and everything. But at that moment she lifted her head and looked at me, and I could tell she was sad. In the last three years she's lost her three friends, one just a few weeks before, and it was like she could tell what I was going to do. So I sat on the floor with her, she rested her head on my lap and I just cried, so yeah, she's the reason that I didn't attempt, I love her so much. My mother asked me to promise not to leave before her, so here I am. Ex-girlfriend committed suicide. Worst pain I've ever felt. We had only broken up four months prior. I still feel like I could have saved her. Swore off suicide attempts after that, had been going through my own mental shit. Two and a half years later, still not an attempt to speak of. And I'm proud of myself for staying here. Don't want my friends and family going through the same pain I did. Eerie time I had the bad thought, I'd be like okay, doing it TMRW but then I'd remember a movie, show, or game that's coming out down the road and I'd just say okay, let's wait this one out. My baby brother being born. The minute my mom told me she was pregnant, I told myself I could never commit because I want to be there for him and make sure he has a better childhood than me. He's two now and I love him more than anything. My younger sibling. That's it. They begged me not to leave them behind in the hell that was our parents' old house. They hugged me and I guess I just couldn't do it in front of them. Haven't been able to process that night properly thanks to shitty family members and still feel it to this day. After a doctor's appointment recently I've realized I will probably continue feeling that empty suicidal urge for the rest of my life. But yeah, if my sibling hadn't been there I would have done it. Minor one for me but it was during lockdown and I was living in my car. I went to buy a hose and tape to end it in my car peacefully. I wasn't aware that they were only selling essential items and as such I couldn't get them. I told myself I would do it tomorrow and from then on things gradually got better and now I'm homed and in a far better place. Not really sure what people can take from that but I do think back at times and think it's ironic that measures that were put into place because millions were dying saved my life third hand. 
My parents are still alive and I have a total and complete fear of going to hell. Copious drug use. Couldn't stand the thought of my dog being left unattended in the house with my rotting corpse. Having multiple friends and family members commit suicide. Being on this side of things really makes it clear how much a person's suicide hurts the few people in this world who love them the most. It doesn't generally hurt strangers and certainly doesn't hurt people who don't even hear about it. The people it hurts are the people who actually cared about you. That sticks with me.